Okay, so I want to apologize for this video coming out so freaking late. It's just, it's my 100th video, and I really wanted it to be, you know, good. Yeah, I did it. 100 video special. Okay, just watch it. Okay, so I'm laying down on my bed, minding my own business, watching some good old-fashioned YouTubes, and I'm watching Jaden Animation's My School Stories video, which, by the way, the video's freaking awesome, so go watch it. What are you still doing here? And out of nowhere, she decides to say this. And it was a class vote, and class vote, class vote, class vote. Vietnam-like flashbacks just begin to pour in! It was just so tantalizingly painful. Tantal tantalizing? That's a word, right? It's like torment or something. Gotta Google this. Yeah, I was right. Torment or tease. It's a word. Oh, God, I'm just... Hey, oh, my God! <laughs> Yeah, that was my manly sneeze. You got a problem with it? Honestly, I have no idea why those two little innocent words just decided to barge into my mind and be like, Brain! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? You now remember something, all right? Uh, okay, 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 I remember. I, re I, I, I remember. Actually, you know what? That'll make for a good video. Now, what exactly did I remember, you might ask? Well, it was the time I ran for middle school class president. Now, I don't know specifics when it comes to dates and stuff, but I do remember what took place. And what took place was I was enthusiastic in becoming the next class president. Now, whatever date it was, I remember the teacher announcing, All right, kids, today we're going to be having sign up slash election week for who will be representing our class as class president. And my mind was freaking blown. I was just like, this is my time to shine. I can do this. I can even be Billy. Billy, you freaking butt nugget. I don't, I don't like you. Billy was a fart sandwich. Let's just say that. And I ran straight up there and I slapped my name right up on that sign up sheet. And I was just like, Billy, I will destroy you. Time passes, school ends, and I go home very happy that day. The next day comes and the teacher decides to announce the five people who he thought were eligible to be the class president. The first name was me, <laughs> of course, why, why wouldn't it be? Second was Raymond, third was Shaquisha, fourth was Jimmy, and fifth was Billy. Wait, I'm sorry, what was that last one? Billy? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> what? How the f did he get onto that list? Yeah, so Billy ends up making the list, school ends, and I go home slightly pissed off. Honestly, I have no idea how we made the list. Billy was the biggest freaking slacker in the entire world. But that is a story for another day. The next day comes and I'm excited as crap because it's election day, the day everyone gets to choose which of the Furious Five they want to become the Dragon Warrior. But then the teacher proceeds to say the following. All right, kids, can we please have the five candidates stand up so they can present their speeches? Um, excuse me there, what? Yeah, so apparently the day before, the teacher told us that we had to prepare a speech for the day of the election. And I guess I was still annoyed at the fact that Billy made the list, so I didn't pay attention to that. So, I had to wing something. And by golly, I was gonna make it the best freaking speech they've ever heard. By using the most elaborate, most well thought out tactic in the freaking world. Bribery. Hello, my name is Adam Ortiz. And I swear to God, if you vote for me, I will use my powers to get everyone squirt guns and pepperoni and cheese pizza for all of you. And for the fancy ones, bageled pizzas. I love you all. Love all your faces. Vote for Adam. Peace. Drop the mic. And then I left. Literally seconds later, I walked back into the classroom because I was afraid I was going to get in trouble. So everyone starts giving their speeches and blah, 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 started saying how they were going to actually help the classrooms and provide students with pencils and stuff and yada, yada. There was absolutely no pizza bagels or squirt guns involved in any of their speeches, even Billy's. So I knew I had this in the bag. We all got through our speeches and the teacher asked the five of us if we could step outside really quick so that way the rest of the class can vote. The tallies were in and I was ready to be the freaking class president. All right, everybody, the tallies are in and the new class president is... Drum roll, please. Adam, get your tushy up here and tell Billy that he is our new class president. Congratulations, Billy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this some sort of sick joke? What do you mean Billy's the winner? I should be the win- I should be the win- I didn't win. 
But I got second place though. I was vice president. And I got all the perks of being president without having to go to the boring meetings. <laughs> I won, Billy. I won. And I won by accident because I didn't know about the stupid meetings. The very boring meetings that I'm glad I didn't go to. Billy complained so many times to the teacher about not wanting to go. But every single time he would be like, hey, can you go in my place? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be sick on that day. But what I thought was freaking hilarious is that everybody who voted for me was like, Hey, so where are squirt guns and pizza bagels? Yeah, no, I said I had to become president in order for you guys to get those things. You guys did not get me president. You guys got me vice president. The second in command. I had to be first in command. You guys screwed up. Now you're paying the consequences. In reality, it worked out for the better because I wasn't going to get it for them anyways. That would have been very expensive. <laughs> And oh boy, did it work out for the freaking better. So Billy was sick one day and couldn't go to the last meeting. And since it was the last meeting, I was just like, hey, I'll go in Billy's place. Lo and behold, that last meeting wasn't a meeting at all. It was a freaking pizza party. And instead of, you know, being bored and doing meeting things, I gotta eat pizza while Billy had to stay home sick and be a baby. <laughs> yes! I win! I win, Billy! I am incredibly loopy because it is one o'clock in the morning and I